So in this episode, we are going to look at the murders and graves of the Jack the Ripper victims. The Jack the Ripper murders happened in East End of London in 1888. But even though the Whitechapel murderer was only a danger to a tiny part of the population in a little section of London, the crimes impacted society at large. There were said to be up to a dozen murders attributed to Jack the Ripper between 1888 and 1892, but only five of them, committed all in 1888, has been linked by police to a single individual. At the time, it was commonly assumed that the victims were prostitutes, except from Kelly, who was killed while soliciting on the streets. However, a British social historian who goes by the name of Hallie Rubenhold argues that Nichols, Chapman and Eddowes were not prostitutes. Stride had only solicited occasionally during times of desperate poverty and emotional suffering. And there is no evidence to indicate that she was soliciting when she was murdered. Kelly was the only verifiable prostitute among the five. The murderer mutilated the body in a manner that indicated that he understood human anatomy. Now the so-called canonical five victims were Mary Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes and Mary Jane Kelly. We are going to look at the first murder of Mary Ann Nichols, which took place on the 31st of August 1888. So we start off in that morning when Charles Cross left for work. He noticed a dark bundle was laying in the gateway on an opposite side of Bucks Row as he walked to work. Initially, Cross was uncertain what the bundle was due to the minimal street lighting. As he drew closer, he stopped in his tracks and he saw that it was actually the prone form of either a dead or drunk woman. He turned and saw Robert Paul, another carter, approaching him and called him over. The woman was lying on her back with her legs outstretched, her skirts raised almost to her waist. Now Cross and Paul decided to carry on to work as they were late, but they did agree to tell a policeman should they come across one. They did, however, pull her skirts back down to her knees to cover her and they set off for their workplace. However, what neither man had observed in the complete darkness of Buck's Row was that the woman's throat had been slit so viciously that, according to some newspaper accounts, her head had almost been cut off. Dr Llewellyn ordered her body to be removed to the mortuary away from prying eyes. There was still the problem of identification. To help with this, the body was photographed and copies of the photograph were shown around the district by the police officers who were conducting the investigation. On the evening of Friday the 31st of August, Mary Ann Monk was taken to the mortuary and having twice viewed the body, identified her as Mary Ann Nichols, also known as Polly Nichols. The coffin was taken to the undertaker's premises. Mary Nichols was buried at the City of London Cemetery. Although her final resting place no longer exists, the cemetery authorities maintain a memorial plaque to her in the cemetery's Garden of Remembrance.